Good morning, parishioners of Seven Sorrows. And good morning, children, parents. Good morning. <laughs> teachers and staff, alumni, and also our benefactors of our beloved school. My name is Mrs. Rebecca Harvey, and I'm your principal. I want to thank you all and Father Ted for allowing me to talk about Catholic education today. I would also like to thank the Knights of Columbus for hosting the annual spaghetti dinner that follows today's Mass. Today marks the first day of Catholic Schools Week an annual event that is celebrated nationally. Schools around the United States are observing the week with masses, open houses, and other activities for students and families and parishioners and community members. Through these events, schools like ours focus on the value of Catholic education and what it provides to our young people and its contributions to church, local communities, and the nation. This year's theme, as it was last year, is Catholic schools learn, serve, lead, succeed and many activities that we have planned at school this week center around this thematic focus. As most of you know, Catholic education has been undergoing a tremendous renaissance over the last decade. As a whole, it has brought us back to one question. Why do Catholic schools make a difference in today's world and culture? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons. I want you to think about these as I briefly elaborate on them. First, we address intellect. I can tell you all the statistics that you would like to hear about Catholic schools having high test scores, near perfect graduation rates, and or the growing number of those with a Catholic education going on to four-year universities and colleges. All of this is true, but it really isn't about the statistics. It's about learning and the guiding principle that Jesus is our master teacher. At Seven Sorrows, we do not simply deliver information to our children. We teach children not simply what to think, but how to think. We teach to the child, we're child-centered, not to the book, not to the class, and certainly not to standardized tests. Seven Sorrows has high standards that encourage children to reach their potential and beyond. The only way this is possible is because our teachers know your child and are vested in their futures. This kind of care and personal attention for your child is immeasurable. We spend many, many hours a week helping them grow in faith and knowledge. The foundation of our curriculum includes math, science, grammar, theology, literature, writing. We have two languages, French and Spanish, and of course the fine arts, i.e. a liberal education with a strong emphasis on the development of a child's soul. That brings me to the second reason why Seven Sorrows Catholic School makes a difference. We wholeheartedly address character. At Seven Sorrows, we believe that one of our major roles is to provide an education that goes beyond the four walls of the classroom. We teach each child how to be a good person. We teach integrity, and we provide them with a moral compass to make good decisions, which we believe is the foundation of leadership. We teach them that having manners and being courtesy, courteous is important in maintaining the dignity of their relationships with their friends, their teachers, parents, guardians, and community members. As a parochial school, we are able to do all of these things in all classes, all the time. It is fundamentally part of who we are, and I would not have it any other way as the educational leader of the school. And finally, and for us most importantly, 
we address spirituality. This is the most important aspect of our school, our Catholic identity. We begin each week with Mass so that our students are able to experience the love of Christ through the Eucharist and at the beginning of school each day and the middle of the school day and at the end of the school day in prayer. Our students come to understand and embrace the truth of why they exist. To know God, to love God, to serve God in this world and be happy with him forever in the next. We believe that each child is different. That was God's intention, which is why we treat each one as individual gifts from God, even when they're sent to my office for a small moment of restorative justice. And we have a few of those throughout the day. We strive to nurture students who are clear thinking, well-rounded, and most importantly, joyful individuals. To me, the bottom line is this, faith and a vibrant prayer life are the cornerstones of life. With it, personal successes and achievements have little meaning and relevance. With it, you realize that your successes and achievements are not only for you, but should be shared with others, with your family, your friends, parishioners, and yes, even strangers, as Jesus taught us. I realize we all do that Catholic education is a sacrifice, but by attending Seven Sorrows Catholic School, your child will begin the process of understanding the meaning and the purpose of things and realize the joy in living and learning. Your sacrifice is an investment in your child. And I'm gonna echo what Father just said. It is investment that is not only worth it, but one that will last a lifetime. Parents, no matter where you are in your spiritual faith journey, the opportunity to give your child a Catholic education is one that should be strongly considered. We, in partnership with you, are preparing them for life which includes finding the vocation and finding God's calling for their lives. In conclusion, I personally welcome you to our open house on Thursday evening to visit our school and to see all the great things we're doing and all the great things that are to come. Times are listed in the bulletin. Please join us and give thought to becoming part of our learning community. As we begin Catholic Schools Week, let us spend this time celebrating Catholic schools, but recognize why Catholic schools make a difference in today's culture by addressing intellect, character, and spirituality. These foundations of a joyful, successful child start right here at Seven Sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary School. So we're gonna sing the alma mater, but you wanna give us just a few moments. There's a little introduction. So let's join in, in singing our alma mater to show pride in our school and all Catholic schools this week that are celebrating across our nation. So alumni, you have to pull from memory. Students, you wanna get out your blue papers? Remember, we've been practicing this all week. That's right, awesome. Teachers, friends, and students all 
Memories of the bees we call Forth we march to bring thee fame Spirits light and hearts aflame Hopeful, faithful, God is true Still your standards to pursue still uphold thy name. Alma Mater, we adore thy great spirit evermore. Gratitude and reverence may seven sorrows be thine eye. Thank you, and have a blessed day, everyone.